Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today we're gonna enjoy some fudge. So today we're gonna be trying Riverbend Brewing's Fudge Me Very Hard. This beer comes in at an 8.0% ABV, a unavailable IBU. It gets an average rating on Untapped of 4.04, .04, but with only 12 check-ins. Holy crap, this description is too flippin' long. Even though spring is here, doesn't mean the dark beer should disappear. Fudge me very hard. Yes, you read that right. It is a creamy, delicate imperial milk porter with a giant addition of raspberry puree, cocoa nibs, and vanilla. Decadent, dessert-like, and delicious with flavor notes of milk chocolate, ripened raspberry, and hot cocoa. Served in 16-ounce four-pack cans and very limited draft. It is a switch compared to our very heavy IPA wheelhouse. Although it's something we have wanted to brew for years, River Bend Brewing is located in Bend, Oregon. So let's try this fudge me very hard. Right away, it's black. It's just dark, it's black. Uh, it's got a khaki, creamy color head, but it's a very light. I tried giving it an aggressive pour, but it's still very thin. Aroma is very pleasant. It is roasty, it is chocolatey, it's sweet. It's like I can almost taste it. Let's try this. Oh wow, this is a dessert beer. It's thick, but not too sweet at the front end. Actually, that's that's the best part about this beer. It's now definitely sweet. It is very candy-esque sweet. It really tastes like if you ever had those chocolate dipped, uh, like raspberry sticks, kind of more of the dark chocolate side. This tastes like that. I've had beers where people said, oh, it tastes like that. It and I tried, I was like, no, 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 it doesn't. This tastes like that candy. It's 8%, it's a big beer. It actually feels and tastes like it's a bit bigger. It feels and tastes kind of more like a 10, 11% beer. So my mind's telling me I'm gonna get drunk on this, but probably I'm gonna get more of a sugar rush. Damn. Very delicious. So, Riverbend Brewing's Fudge Me Very Hard, Imperial Milk Stout Porter. It's a dessert beer. It is a 100% dessert beer. So the only real complaint I was trying to come up with about this beer was it's overly sweet and possibly served in too big of a can. But then that got me thinking, I wanna have this beer more by like a fire pit, fireplace, you know, camp out seeing at nighttime and take my time with this beer. And as I was drinking, it evolves. This beer is perfect for that. This is one of those, I could easily be a one and done beer or maybe a little more. It is a nightcap type of beer. You need to take your time with this beer. This is not a chug beer. This is not a, I'm gonna drink this in 10, 15 minute type of a beer. This is a processed beer. You have to take your time and drink this beer to really appreciate it. I think it might be a little bit better in a 12 ounce can, but the 16 ounce can does lean itself more toward the masses. And the fact that they did a dark beer in the springtime is fantastic because right now we're just oversaturated with IPAs and sessional beers. And I'm looking for a good dark stout. Sometimes I crave a good dark beer. I will say, I did a review on Riverbend, one of their IPAs earlier, and I complained about the stickers and it having bubbles all over it. This one still has that. And it's been over a year. There's lots of bubbles in this label. The artwork, however, looks fantastic. I really like it. It kind of looks like raspberry, chocolate, and water kind of all swirling together. But the bubbles on the sticker and the can kind of ruin it. Check Riverbend out. If they have this on draft, it'd be phenomenal. You'll just be able to sit back and relax and kind of just wind down. Kind of a beer. Cheers, guys.
So today, we're going to be trying... Uh, you know, I should probably look up the beer so I can uh, seamlessly talk about it. That's an idea, right? Hey guys, if you like this video, follow me on Instagram, Untapped, Twitter, Facebook. All the big social media stuff will be in the description below. Leave a comment or two if you want. I like this review. I didn't like this review. I like how you do this. I want to see you do this. Talk about more about this. Thanks, guys.